My today's talk is about the knowledge and then the basic fundamentals of Islam, which is our Akidah. Akidah is something like, you know, there is a building. And if the base of the building is not strong, and you will feel the vibration in the building and sometime it will collapse and it can anything happen. The fundamentals of our Islam is the main Akidah which is La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. So let's talk about the first part, which is La ilaha illallah. Now, if I ask you, uh, explain me about what is, how would you define the word ilah? Who are gonna answer me that? God. Who are you gonna answer? What is it, explain God. me. Come here. Come here, change the mic. What is the meaning of Allah? How would you define what Allah means? Mm -hmm. When you say La ilaha illallah, so define me, say some few words about Allah. Uh, when I think of Allah. Say, say in the mic, man. When I think of Allah. No, Ilah. no, I'll bite you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. When I think of Allah, I think of God, but I think of specifically one God. Speak loud, speak um, loud. I I'm just talking about, okay, the first part is La ilaha illallah. So what is this word ilah means in the first part of the first part? God. Ilah. God. What do you mean by God? Creator. It doesn't, it, it doesn't say Allah. I'm talking about the ilah, the word ilah. In the word la ilaha. So define me the word ilah means. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, I know la ilaha. La is, is no, is negative. There is no God but one Allah, yeah. and then Muhammad وسلم, is the messenger. Yes, right. sir. Okay, go ahead, take a seat. Yeah. Who's next? Who's going to answer me that? Yeah. That's the basic things I'm asking about Islam. The basic thing. That's even a first part and the first part of the first part. Yeah. Who's going to answer me that? Nobody knows. Who's gonna answer me? What about from the sisters? Somebody send me a message from there. Khadija. Come on, anyone, and take a take a guess. Take a guess. Khadija, without Allah, what that mean? What does Allah means? I'm not talking about Allah. I'm talking about the word Allah means in Allah ilaha. No, come on, don't look at the Google. No, no, no. Keep the Google down. Don't even, don't, don't even trust Google. Okay, nobody wants, nobody wants to answer me. Okay, the word Allah means it can be anything. It could be human, it could be a bottle of water, it could be a mic, like any creation could be Allah. The Allah means when you love someone, let's say I love this bottle, I love the bottle so much, I'm reaching my extreme. I'm going my extremist. I'm going more ahead, more than expected. I love this bottle more than anyone else. So what is this? This is my ilah. This is my ilah. Okay, let's say I have a pet. I have a dog. I have a cat. I'm gonna die without my cat. I'm gonna die without my dog. I can't live. I love my girlfriend. I love my boyfriend. You're reaching your limit. You're reaching it. That's like you can't even live without it. Mm. That's what Allah means. It could be anything. Mm -hmm. You obey someone. Like let's say in our back in our country, like in India, Pakistan. Mm -hmm. Like these people, they respect their elders. They just follow them. Whatever they say, they have. They do it. And they say no, 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 no. These are. They have done like maybe twenty Hajj, and they have a lot of barakah in their hands. Mm -hmm. They they have the blessings, but they made them Allah. So that means they forget about Allah is up there in the heaven. Mm. So that's why it says in the first kalima, ah. La ilaha. Mm. That says, Oh God. So the whole kalima has two meanings. The first thing is that I believe there's only one God. There's only one creator and there's only one sustainer alone by himself. There's no one thing else. Like who's feeding you? It's alone up there in the heaven. Mm. You got a question? You have to speak uh, loud. I have come here, come here, come here. Uh, the word, <coughs> the word in law 
in the Semitic language means a God. When we talk about Allah, A-L is a definite article like in the English. It means the. In law means God. In the Hebrew, which also is a Semitic language, they use lo. And they say Elohim. And Elohim could be singular or it could be double. But the word with the O or R starts in the same machrish as in the throat. So when you say law, when you say law, you're talking about God. There is no God but a law. That's the way we define it, right? All right, thank you very much. There is no God but a law. Yeah, hold on a second. So <laughs> when we say la ilaha illallah, the ill in front of it is talking about there is no God but God. So that's our definition of it. And there are many interpretations in Arabic, and that has to do with the way you can uh, interpret Arabic, because one word in Arabic can be interpreted four times in English. All right, so I'm going to continue. The word Ilah, it could be anything. Like the first thing we have to believe, there is no Ilah. Like there is no other creator of the universe. And only Allah knows like how many universes are there. And we believe there are many universes. As it says in the first surah and the first chapter and the first verse, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. All praises to one God. And that's like if we try to translate and to understand the first verse. This is something same as a kalima. Like when we say la ilaha illallah, there is only one God. That means we love, we respect, and we obey one creator. And the whole universe is created by one Allah. There is no second creator. That we truly believe 100%. We do not believe there is someone who is partnered with na'ud billah with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's only Allah alone by himself. It's no one else. And the second thing, and we have to believe, the first thing we believe, that he is a lone creator. And the second definition of that is, we make a promise that I promise to Allah that I will obey your commandments. And I will not obey anyone, and I will not respect anyone, I will not follow anyone except your commandment. You are alone that I will follow. And what is that? Our Holy Quran. We have to follow what it says in there. And the second part of the kalima is Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the first definition of the kalima is we believe that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his messenger. And the second definition of that, we promise. In the first one, we promise to Allah that you are only alone, sustainer. And the second definition is that we promise that we'll, we will follow your commandments only. Now that's the second definition. And the second part of the kalama is Muhammad Rasulullah. The first definition is, we believe that the Muhammad Sallallahu is his messenger. And the second definition is, we promise to Allah that we'll only follow your messenger. We will not follow anyone else. Either it could be a scholar, it could be an imam, it could be a mufti, or whoever. Even somebody has a lot of blessings in his hand, we cannot follow him. Because we have to believe in Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. 